All right, well, let's get to it then. The last game that is basically rated 1.5 or higher before getting into you know the ones that are less. So I remember 70 year old game jam by Walker Sheep. I assume by the way that most of these like lower rate games were just by one person, but who knows? Maybe we'll find some more from like more than one person. Hello, this is my third game jam. This game was created for the Sunday Real Game Jam 2023. I'm writing this at 5.02 a.m. This game is pretty cool, but probably not very balanced. I tried to make a platformer plus a roguelike. In this game, you play as Agent 7, who has to go into a dream world and try to remember what he can when he wakes up. You can only remember one thing each run and use it again in the next run, so pick up what you remember wisely. Thanks for playing. Okay. I have no idea what this means, but okay, let's see how it goes. Let's browse her to go, because why not? Work, work. There we go. Oof. Hello. I'm the scientist. You are Agent 7. You were created in my lab to serve me. There is a dream world you must travel to by going to sleep. When you wake up by drawing, you can tell me what you remember. I remember I had a revolver. Along the way, you will kill enemies, collect coins, open chests, and equip interesting weapons and items. Your gem should help jog your memory when you wake up. Alright, see you when you wake up. Alright, space to jump. Curse case to move around. Or WSD to move around. This is a check. There's like no game instructions here, so. So I assume I can shoot or stuff. That hurts me to run into that. Okay. Okay, let's figure out that Jake basically fires my like shots here. Looks like I have like a, a six shooter, just to throw it out there. Now what I get I have like any reloading stuff stuff here basically. Okay, I think the R reloads your button. So I go like one, two, three, hit reload. Yeah, so basically R reloads your button. J will shoot the gun. What's over here? 
Um, that text went by a little bit fast. Interesting. You know, this game reminds me a lot of Khmer Keen. Two? Hmm. Oh, this guy can really see me. Not sure, I think the air is getting tougher as we go along here. Okay, so note that if you're just like, you know, a tall away from these guys, they still hurt you. These aren't enemies, they're just like, you know, resources. You know, question, do I have to really fight these guys or can I just move on, I wonder? Might be easier to move on if I want to. Uh, I think that says shotgun collected. So I got an actual weapon. Revolver. Blaster. Shotgun. Blaster. Now here's a basic question I ask myself, how do I change my weapons then? Okay, pressing K changes ch change my like weapon selected, I guess. 
So J basically like, you know, use your primary weapon. K you see like your secondary weapon. Fire for walls to this guy. The shotgun seems to suck a little bit. Like a lot. Blast at least fires through walls, so that's that going for it. So, I think the major risk given for this game is the box of instructions for the most part. I saw someone saying it's not really like a roll egg, but I assume that's permadeath. Gotcha, finally. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that the like text is going way too fast for like the I pick up system for out there to the developer. What's this do? Magnet uh, collected. To revive stone or magnet. Okay. That's not a revolver. Hmm. Gotcha. Okay, but I want to get that like stuff up there, I have to kill this guy, so... I just want you to jump up here and it's a little bit better, so let's do that. Trigger happy. What does that do? See, yeah, this game would benefit a lot from instructions, just to throw out there. Whoops. Well, I guess it's a fall damage. <laughs> Trigger happy again. By the way, I'll let those guys right here, like the, you know, these guys here to sort of blend into the background. 
I'm not sure it's on purpose, but just right after it sort of blend in. Maybe we are supposed to blend, who knows. Here's the way to the next level. So, dream level 3. Finally got him out of the way. I like how all the gun space have a purpose, by the way. We always have racing fast and like, you know, fire across the screen. Shotguns would be good at like, close range if they're more powerful. Blasters can fire through walls. There's nothing any stronger as we go along, these guys. Finally, he killed him. Let's try opening something. Speed Potion. So I figured it's probably like, you know, um... Probably Q apparently lets you like swap your weapons and stuff. Or drop them. Why would we ever drop your weapons though? There's no point to it. I'm trying to see how you can basically use potions and stuff by way, so... Definitely instructions could have been helpful. I'm not sure, I figure you're getting more powerful as you go along too. These guys. Now I saw a comment basically before I like jumped in here saying like this is not real like at all, but I suppose if it's really generated, which it seems to be. It should be. Insert one. Gotcha. You're dead. Technic ball launcher? These hurt me if I hit, hit him, I guess? Nope. Interesting. There's a revolver.
So I got like a, you know, a ball walker thing here. Interesting, they sort of bounce off each other. Eventually I'll kill her thing here too, I think. There goes him. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Using the wall to kill this guy. Down he goes. It is possible to jump all the way up to these levels if you want to. Whoops. Crap. Jumped over there again. Or failed to. There we go. Another ball launcher. Tennis ball launcher is what it's called. Just dodge my tennis balls. So that's the one, like, what the purpose of this, like, is to, like, you know, do. Do I just basically keep going until I die eventually, or... Is there a boss or anything? Oh, this is like knocking this guy around, I think, as well, so that's interesting. Whoops! Eyes up here. Gotta be careful that then they can be knocked around a lot, these guys. There's the blaster again. Well, it does seem fun. I'll give it that. Could use more enemies, though. Oh! Probably should just fire from the top and kill this guy. Down it goes.
Well, let's go collect some stuff, I guess. What's this in here? There's the shotgun again. I wish the shotgun was better, but it's not, so... Gotcha. What make a nice guy basically off the level? Oh, guys, it's actually jumping like you know between levels now. Interesting. Nice way to kill this guy. There he goes. Got him. I'll probably do like an dream level and I'll just get myself killed, I guess. So, I'm not that space a lot of repeating rooms. And I guess the idea is like, you know, you have those rooms and some random face enemies in those rooms, so, sort of buying a Vice style, um, you know, style. That's not my advice, but you know, get the idea. Similar room constructions, but with like randomly placed enemies in them. That don't move. Got him. Maybe I'll find new gun if I go up there? Probably not, but let's just open it anyways. Rocket launcher! Look at that. Long cooldown, but... Rocket launcher! There's a lot of damage on that, apparently. Fire! That's the only like drawback of this game. Gun is it's like the very slow, like you know, cooldown. Whoops! I've been picked up though. Could have more damage, by the way. I guess we'll clear this level and then we'll just get killed, I guess.
Oh cool, he killed a guy in one shot. Let's push on. That's uh, dream level four. Yes, let's go get a kill at this point. Well, I guys see me firing really fast now. Uh, I guess I have five stones so I didn't die immediately there. This is right out there. But I just realized I'm actually really like, regenerating each time. Alright, what do you remember? So, basically remember I had like, you know, the test gun, I had the, um, the rocket launcher. Nothing. Alright, so, replay cutscene. That's basically this right here. I guess you can't back, you know, backspace your way out of this, like, you know, here, so you have to go through it, so, enter. So you can pause the game if you press escape. It's gonna go get killed again. So basically you have like your item, you have your like guns, and you remember them basically. Alright, so there's the controls by the way, so controls. Why is to walk around, fire weapons with 1 or, or J, fire weapon 2 of K, interactive E, jump to spacebar. And I guess there isn't like any like, you know, button for like, you know, the consumable, so they are like, they're like um, custom stuff that, you know, like the variety of if you arrive to you or they're not. What the heck is backspace? I have no idea. Alright, so. Quit. It quits, of course. There's a download, a download for this, basically. So. I think this does technically count as being a rule, like, it's, you know. Probably at least, like, you know, one. For most people. I kind of wish there was, like, more enemies and, like, you know. Um, duration of like, you know, levels and stuff like that, but it's fine. So, yeah, not really, like, no, I, I do agree that, like, you know, it's really, like, enough. Alright, well, let's see here. I remember, let's just see what the score for this one basically was. I think it was like, you know, probably marked a little bit low for what it should have been. Um, so the game works, doesn't crash, more or less complete, but definitely not polished. I actually don't agree with this. I think it was polished enough to actually play for free, though the instructions basically not being around probably like, you know, would probably knock this down to at least a two. Aesthetics, a bit of a goofy pixel art, but absence of weapon reload indicator. This bring health bar and really hard to read uh, enemies and disappear almost immediately. It's not nice. Those are sort of like you know meth things to me, but I do agree that like you know, it would be nice to actually have like the health bar at least like you know visible right there. Even though it's regenerating health, it would be nice basically to keep it like you know up a little bit more. Keep like the like the names for like stuff basically up a little bit more. Normally like you know stuff is really would be nice, but eh, I probably would give this a free myself. Fun, I probably would have given it a two. I mean, yeah, static enemies are supposed to affect that is a bit of an issue. Wouldn't nice to have a little more, like, you know, um, terrifying enemies to fight, basically. Innovation, basic platform of shooting, nothing new. Scope. So, yeah, more variety of enemies, guns, and levels. I, I, I probably agree that, like, yeah, it, it deserves a 2 at least, this game, but it could have a lot more. Relic this action platform of levels composed of prefab rooms is highly relic. I actually disagree with this. You can't have, like, you know, an action platform of, like, you know, prefab rooms, but you have to have, like, you know, each room be f feeling, like, you know, different and distinct enough. But, yeah, one is, like, you know, not that hard of a call for this game, I think, either. So, definitely a game that could have been improved a lot more. But, whatever. Hope to see, like, you know, perhaps, the, you know, Walker Sheep come back with another game, like, you know, next time. Alright, that's basically it for this one. That's basically it for all the 1.5, like, you know, and up, like, reviews, so... At this point, we'll be jumping down to those that are, like, lower. That'll be fun.
All right, well, that'll be for next time. For now, take care.